Well, Victoria Police say tonight they welcome a report into the way that it's the department's officers use force and the way it jails people in the city lockup. As A News first reported last night, there are no fewer than 80 recommendations in the report, among them that the Victoria Police Jail stop being used as a remand center for other jurisdictions. Vic PD says it needs better service from Crown Council. The report also looks at the impact of alcohol and how Vancouver Island Health Authority policies are sending alcoholics to jail when there are better places to deal with them. As for the use of force and the perception that this is a department out of control, neither the mayor nor the police chief seem sure that this report's going to make a difference. I don't think that there was anything that I saw or detected that uh, gave credence to the notion that somehow Vic PD was staffed by people who were out of control. I didn't see any of that. But that is the perception following a number of incidents caught on video that made news. An allegation an officer used excessive force apprehending a man outside a bar. An allegation excessive force was used to take a man to the ground in jail and a teen tethered to a cell door for hours. Our issue, like it's why the release of a report into the operation of Vic PD's jail and how officers use force put the story on the national stage. This was an important exercise. After a number of very high profile incidents, the police board and the department felt that there was a need to get an outside review. It was not the mandate of the report's author to review those incidents, but Vince Bevan suggests tightening policies and better training to deal with use of force. And when it comes to the operation of cells, Bevan is recommending several policy changes, from changing the name of the jail to Arrested Persons Processing Unit to reducing the number of 7,500 prisoners that pass through the jail doors every year. Bevan suggests police begin arresting and releasing people on the street to appear in court at a later date. And he believes the department should stop housing the six people per day on average who are picked up with alcohol issues. But the jury is still out on whether Victoria Police will stop taking prisoners from other police agencies and the Sheriff's Department. I can uh, only anticipate that there are going to be some pretty active discussions in the next uh, month with the Sobering Centre and VHA and, and government about what, uh, how this is going to move forward. To make the recommendations work, Vic PD says it needs more cooperation from Victoria's Crown Council. And Chief Graham says getting the Vancouver Island Health Authority to offer more assistance dealing with addicts is now a priority. But the big question reporters wanted answered today, is the report going to make a difference? The Chief and Victoria's mayor struggled for an answer. How does this report address the major public relations problem that you have? Um, the main purpose for here today was thank uh, Mr. Bevan for his report. I, I, I don't agree with your categorization of the recommendations. What does this report do to address those incidents to prevent it from happening in the future? Well, I mean, I think we've hit those 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 big highlights that we've asked for its report. If the chair of the Victoria Police Department and Victoria's police chief can't articulate what difference this report is going to make, the spokesperson for the department certainly can. He specifically addresses the issue of a young man who received a brain injury while in cells, a teenager who was tethered to a cell door for more than four hours, and a man who died from alcoholic poisoning while in the jail. Now the cell has padded floors. The recommendation is to put padded floors in all the cells. So when you ask me about the, this is, those situations, there are recommendations in this report that should mitigate things like that that happen. Mr. Viger, he was here 45 times before, he, before that fateful day. There's recommendations in here is how to address that so that doesn't happen again. Vic PD says reading the entire report will show how the department so is prepared to move forward. Stephen Andrew joins us now with more on the story outside Vic PD headquarters. Uh, Stephen, you've been looking into the police comment that uh, the department needs better cooperation from Crown Council. Why, why is that being raised right now? Well, Vince Bevan suggested they do an arrest and release on the streets, uh, Hudson, and that means that they would then have to show up here at the department to be fingerprinted and identif identified. If they fail to do that, apparently what Big PD is saying, Crown is not moving forward with that charge, whereas in Vancouver they do it on a frequent basis. They say that Crown needs to step up to the plate and move forward with that. I talked to Crown Council just a few moments ago. They say they're investigating that statement. They're going to get some hard facts on that, and they're going to get back to us on that allegation next week, Hudson. All right, we'll stay on the story. Stephen, thank you. You're welcome.